Oh, you want to do a startup? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, click the switch. What's up, Buddha? What's up, baby? Yeah. <laughs> what you gotta put me on blast? Yo, let's go check out his Lexus. What year is this one? Huh? What year? Oh, nice. Well, people are doing these now. Well, what year is a good year for these? The oh, this 09 or yeah, 08 to 09? Yeah, this is the same as the Prado. So you're on the Prado. The Prado. Super sick. So you're gonna do the whole thing, the, the, the tent on the top tent, and yep. all that stuff. So. I got the camper coming. The camper coming, nice, nice. The old man new move kit. No stain. Nice. Oh yeah. You're gonna go in the higher with it or this is it? Huh? You're gonna go higher with it? No, the, if I'm gonna upgrade, probably upgrade tires. Depending on what I'm gonna do Oh, the big, like 37s or something? Yeah. Right now it's 33 and a half. 33 and a half, okay, nice. Let me see. Yeah, you can put 35s. Mm -hmm. But not, 37 is probably too big. No clear. Okay, Guess who's here today, guys? Quickest all wheel drive in the world right now. We're gonna bring it down and show you guys what's up, but yep, check it out. The only thing I'm gonna show you underneath, I, I gotta ask him, ask him first, but yep, it's in here to get some stuff done to it. Try to make things better. You know, pushing back our little exoskeleton car. We're gonna take a look at um, Javi's scar. You know, drag creations did all the work. They went eight seconds. We're just gonna do a little bit of improvements, right? That's right. Get a little extra stuff on there. We're going yes, seven sir. now with S1 built. Nice up to date <laughs> technology improvements. Yep, yep. Um, from a backyard build to a shop build. I know. So, so guys, if you take a look at it, what drag creations did, you're gonna take a look at Javi's gonna, gonna explain. No, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I mean, I still look the work right here, huh? Yeah, I still look This car is so getting a drag creation manifold. Yeah, check it out from this angle. Hey, you guys check it out. Before, go tonight. Nice well, they, drag creation work. Anyway, That's so. what I'm saying, they're going to go to dinner, but they don't even know how far we I'll be here and then I'll I'm going to put a link in the description. That's an eight second minor fall. Proven. Put it right there. Let's put it right there. Proven. So you can see. Here we go. Okay. That is looking super nice. And if it goes bigger, you can just cut this up a little bit. I think it will fit there, but if something, we'll cut it here. Yeah, anything cut right there. We're going to try that out here now. Yep. And now, time to test fit it on this car. Both these cars are getting the um, exact manifold. Hey, TJ. Yeah. We still need the waste gate. 16 millimeter? Because we need to know what position we're going to do it. Oh, okay. Like, okay. I mean, we also need the right turbo that's gonna be on this car because it's yeah. gonna be angled down and then it's gonna come with a little 45 to come out here. Yeah. So we need to put the shift cables on, the brake booster, so we know where we're at. Yeah, yeah, no The problem. proper way. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll probably, probably grab a, um, get a waist, wanna waste get like today? Get a waste get over here? Or? Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice if we can so we know where to put it placement. I mean, pretty sure it's gonna be on this side and then we're yeah. gonna make a nice up pipe with a wastegate pipe coming around. Coming around awesome. I mean, it's gonna be a really nice setup when it's done. Kind of like the Oh yeah, 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 I can imagine, man. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at the bottom of the core right now. Give us a little yes, run through. So that's a run through. Uh, we did this five years ago, like I said, Dry Creations and I. Uh, this is all handmade in the lathe. So we didn't really have access to beef, good technology beefy. and stuff like that. Pretty beefy. These are not so beefy like the ones you guys make. But all this is now going to be upgraded to S1 stuff here. 
So we're gonna have S1 control arms, S1 cambers, cambers. Uh, and a complete S1 rear diff. Rear diff mount, yep. Yep. So as you can see, this is what we had to work with. We basically did a two link setup. That way it holds a diff from coming up. Cause what happened was the very first time we came out, this ended up giving out and actually it went broke. all the way up right and broke yeah it, it broke the, the cover on the diff okay he's gonna perfect this going. for us too okay um so he's gonna put this um the adjustable bracket that yeah. we definitely did not have technology to make all this five <laughs> years ago um so if oh, you look on, in here on you the ski, see, this is going to incorporate it into this one yeah so what he's going to do is since this is longer yeah uh son's going to actually cut the my control arm and put the a new uh, eye bow back here okay with the spherical back here and then you you see how uh we did it with washers and stuff yeah i know so now we'll have the proper adjustments on the bracket which is what we need yeah you can okay so and you can go back, i mean back and forth it's crazy that we're doing eight seconds That's fine. <laughs> it's crazy that we've done eight seconds with this setup we've had a lot of alignment issues we do have the car aligned yeah but as you see we have to take this off play with the adjustment and put, put it washers it, yes. it becomes a mission mm -hmm. so we got to perfect this especially going that fast on the track i know right yeah and this is your dress you use a wagon yeah we use a wagon the dry shaft uh we F uh eg ef um his carabiners yeah we got his carabiners he made the dry shaft for us as well okay um Nice, so you got the, the safer. Yeah, the Brandon, uh, Brandon, I gave Brandon the specs. He made this, sent yeah. me his carrier bearings. and. So what about the so trend the, the inside here and the upgrades? All right, this is 100% stock. 100% stock T case, nobody believes it. I've and doing been running eight, second? eight seconds, five years later, we're still on the stock transfer case. Never broke, this is literally. So why does people transfer case broke, you think? Something else is um, given is. Well, if you come here and look at the dry shaft, it's 100% straight. Yes. Hundred percent straight yes. down that. So we focus on making sure the dry shaft was straight. Yeah. Made sure the axles were hundred percent straight. Mm -hmm. So if you literally look from this hole to this hole, it you lines see, right up. It right runs up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Lines up hundred percent. So we have zero bindage on the axles. Yeah. They do have their normal up and down movement, and this also has a degree. That way you don't ruin the U joints. Yeah, that's a little, that's a smaller degree. Yeah. yeah. But it's straight. But she's straight. It's not like stock transfer. So what about the, what about tra tranny? What are you doing with the tranny? Tranny, I have a it's a BF gear setup which mm -hmm. I built myself. Okay. Uh, it's one through four billet forks. Uh, it's got a fifth gear cuff. Yes. And it's just one through four drag uh, setup. It's a custom gear set that I will not talk about. Okay. Made for my car. Yeah. They specifically made it just for me. Just for you. Okay. So, so you have it. the okay. car has a special gearing just for this. Yeah, car. you gotta have your secrets, man. You gotta have it. You gotta. Uh, yeah. At that point, you know. Yeah. Sit here and give away exactly what gear ratios I have. Exactly. It's definitely does not have the same PPG ratios that people have or anything like that. And what um what um axles up front you doing right here? Um these are DSS 59s. Uh right now you guys are gonna make uh new sphericals bushings so i don't have all this bindage that i have yeah uh we're gonna fix this traction bar issue because i do run a prelude traction bar yeah and as you can see my tire is actually forward too much so this is not even centered okay. and it was all binding so we're, we're trying to correct that binding issue okay nice thanks nobody made a traction bar for this accord they only make it for the cb7 which is the, the 90 to 93 and it doesn't fit this one and nobody made one for this so i ran a prelude traction bar okay a lot of stuff for this chassis that nobody made yeah the, yes, so it's the kind of we, we made up. everything from the weight plate to the hey, traction bar so all right let's let's bring it down take a look Marsh tuning in, Marsh tuning definite, big ups. Yes sir, big ups for that. Can you believe guys? This is the fastest accord in the world right now. FO2K, can't wait. You're gonna be at FO2K, right? Yeah, definitely gonna attend FO2K. That's the goal right now is to perfect it for, sure. for FL2K. It's a motor is built by Maps, rest in peace to Robert Maps. He, rest in peace, um, Maps. He really liked the car. He was helping me out on this car. We had some goals. Uh, build me a 1400 plus horsepower motor uh, car made 1172 on the dyno spinning tires we had to stop it there at 40 pounds we crank it up at the track after that so yeah. I mean basic k24 k20 head 
It's got the Gato Manifold 8 injectors, uh, DECAs. I'm running Haltech ECU as of right now. Mm -hmm. um, as I said earlier, it is a BF Gears uh, dog box. I got the 7685 Precision Turbo. Uh, the whole turbo kit is done by Dry Creations. He made all the piping, he made the manifold, he made the up pipes. Everything fabrication wise on the car Dry is creation. done by Dry, Dry Creations. Creations. And they're going to be doing the Fort Gen right there and also. Yeah, we're doing the manifold on the Prairie we're the, doing the manifold on, on the, the rabbit, yeah. rabbit. So everything fabrication wise is Dry Creations. We run a Gato 6 inch uh, war, uh, air to air intercooler. Which we're staying with. A lot of people's changing. We're, it we're works for you. It works. We're staying age pattern. Uh, definitely representing BF Gears big time with this car. Yes. So they've helped me out a lot, and I'm helping out back a lot. And we're gonna put this transmission to the test. Good, good. That's nice, man. There's some air motor fuel. This is a Dry Creations fuel pump kit. He designed this, and uh, basically it's a Waterman pump. It runs off the camshaft. Mm -hmm. it, again, that was a design of Dry Creations, which he wanted to make just for my car at the time. He ended up making it for somebody else. We tested it, then we made mine, and so, so far it works amazing. It dropped, uh, it dropped the duty cycle a lot, so I had eight injectors, and we were at about 80% duty cycle on the fuel yeah. at 1,000 horsepower. When we put the fuel pump on, it dropped the duty cycle to 36%. We made almost 1,200. Oh, so it's a big difference going mechanical fuel pump. Oh, you're right. You're definitely yeah. right. I mean, it does take a big regulator for it. So, and then it's, it gives little tuning issues. Not real issues, but like for tuners, they got to change because the more RPMs, the more the fuel pump pumps. It's not like an electrical pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically, you have to lean out the car on tuning on top end because it just starts dumping fuel. So, you got to know how to, you know, tuner would have to, they'll figure it out. So, yes, it's not yes. bad. It's just little things that we all learn. Mm -hmm. But it, it is a nice setup, man. Looks looks good. Yeah, it's got its little war wounds. You know, it's been hit, chipped, hit. And I know. It's a race car now. I Started know. off as a show car with my best friend's car who passed away. Mm -hmm. His dad offered me the car, and I turned it into a race car that's after good. that. Yeah, that's good, man. So, so you guys check it out. Give him a follow for sure. A wall right and drag creation. A wall customs and give drag creations a hit up. And yeah, we're gonna give this car some S1 love. You know, it's already breaking records, you know, we're just gonna add to it, add to the more love on it, just give it more love and TLC and, you know, we'll see where it, what happens. And the transmission is by who again? Is the company? Uh, BF Gears BF is the Gears. Gears and AWOL Custom build the transmission. Build the transmission. So, okay. me, myself and I build this transmission, along with the whole car, I do all my own assembly, racing, everything that's done to the car is actually done by me or Dry Creations. So car, it's in-house. In so in-house. Uh, like really in-house. Really Literally in, in a backyard. <laughs> we didn't even have technology back then. I just now finally bought my first home yeah. and I have a two-car garage and yeah. that's my garage. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> well, yeah, things man. is only going to get better from here. Yep. Things are going to get up. These are side squares. Check them out. Plus those, that's his Instagram link right there. I'm going to put it at the bottom anyways. Yeah, we Should. took them off to lift, yeah, up, the lift up the car. I got the race wheels we're going to put on the B-Lax. Okay. So they match the car. But of course, before we go, we're gonna do that little startup. Oh, you wanna do a startup? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, click the switch. Let's go, baby. <laughs> right there, from here, and then you can look inside. That's just the cockpit area. Very nice, very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to change a few things um right here what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the arms we're going to shorten this thing down here a little bit so we could actually have more toe adjustments mm -hmm. here we're going to be using arms here this part the lower control arms there's actually the same distance as ours okay so we're going to use ours but we're going to modify the diff mount because we're going to put the diff more in the center so we're going to remake a diff mount for this part here. Basically the same design, all that, but yeah. we're gonna put it more in the center. And then also, we have to make a little um, bracket right here 
to for our um, lower control arm to um, to uh, going right. Yeah. Uh, what else are we gonna do? And then we're gonna brace some stuff up. Um, give, I'm giving more spherical stuff on the car, right? Correct. Up correct, front, correct, the traction yeah, bar. What yeah. you were saying? But this is actually the distance that he made it was actually exactly like ours. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so like you did a real, real good job on this. I know, right? Let's check it out from yeah, back. I, <laughs> I like it. Works, right? Works good. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna change this thing out also. The top bar. Yeah, we're gonna cut all this out. We're gonna put a top bar. The straight bar in the back. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. Just to make it easier to. Uh, to take off and all that and to give it more support we're going to go with the bigger bars okay cool with it, so. all right plus we're going to be doing some stuff up front so guys that's it stay tuned on this build we're going to be doing a little bit more on the quickest cord in the world Sweet. can't get you know i mean we did pretty good five years ago you guys cars awesome very job. impressive I know. <laughs> uh you know can't take any credit away from dry creations he did an amazing yeah. job on it we are just due for an upgrade. We are trying to Dry crack into the, <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to crack into the seven <laughs> second zone. So we need to we need to improve to go you know? with other people. That, yeah. That yeah. Plus, it gets you out the there, gets me out there. It helps both help each other get out there uh, to yeah. a higher level. Yeah. yeah Plus, yeah. it brings the platform of Accords out to the world, so everybody exactly. can finally see these cars. Like yeah. Like so and right here stop racing out. Civics and race Accords. Right. I want somebody to try to beat my record. How about that? Yeah. How about, that? how about that? How about that? Free T-shirt. Free T-shirt. Who break the record? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was. I would. I will give a thousand dollars to whoever beats my record. I will personally pay. You gotta be an accord. It has to be an accord. It has to be an accord. It could be so four doors. Somebody get on the ball and build an accord. It could be two <laughs> doors. It could be three doors, hatchback accords. It could be any year accord. And try to get to that eight seconds yeah. with an accord. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And with no nitrous. No, okay, yeah, guys? I have no nitrous. Yeah, no nitrous. That's all boost. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, stay tuned, we're going to give you a YouTube update on this pretty soon and what Dry Creations is doing to the Rabbit and also the Fort Gen. Like, subscribe. We got way more to come. Them wheels are always gripping, them wheels are never slipping. S1 all-wheel drive, got them on the skin and turns. Them wheels are always we'll gripping. You gripping, don't get caught slipping. You get behind the wheel, build it your Honda's bill. It's military grade, but this is not a drill. It's American made, but we all will drive the world. I see them changing the game, S1 always will. Got them cars killing speeds and just sound like artillery. It's all wheel and deep, almost like a war machine. Like it's meant for the infantry. Air Force, Navy, Army, and Marines Now they clock triple digit speeds And they got them on the bases Must be all the innovation Watch them racing information Got the gauges twitching crazy Switching up the pace Shifting in the Civic or an S2K This is not your daily S1 Always gripping pavement S1, S1 You gon' want a test run All wheel drive in the lane In the left one S1, S1 You gon' want a test run All wheel drive in the lane In the left one Say you in something we can't afford, but we got that cam to cord. That's this one. All wheel drive, got them on the skin.